pretty much since the beginning of 2019, there's been a situation with Atlas's Catherine full body. In a moment, we're going to hop over to One Angry Gamer and take a look at a write-up that they released today titled Catherine Full Bodies Changes Still Were Not Enough for a Reset Era. As we all predicted, if you don't know the story, let me give you the background really, really quick. Around the beginning of the year, January 2019 or so, Catherine Full Body had some criticism, very minor criticism from a small group of people, but very vocal, a very vocal minority. And Atlas, believe it or not, apparently they ended up listening to some of the criticism and making changes with the Western release uh, due to the localization. It's unfortunate that they caved in. Part of that comes down to a certain member of their staff who is American, who was maybe feeding them certain ideas. Uh, so long story short, they ended up making changes. And guess what? We all predicted that if they actually made the changes that people were trying to uh, trying to get them to do, right, that they still wouldn't be happy. If you listen to this vocal minority and you cave in, they still won't be happy for a number of reasons. First of all, changes to Catherine are not going to fix the criticisms that they have with other Atlas products like Persona. They complain about Persona. They complain about Catherine. And fixing Catherine won't stop the complaints as a whole. They're now learning that the hard way. On top of the fact that they still aren't satisfied with Catherine either, let alone the other products that Atlas has, like Persona, uh, they're, they're also still not happy with Catherine. So let's see what this article talks about here. Reset Era's ability for censorship is efficacious. Nearly every time they whine and yell for a game to be censored, the publisher responds almost as if by command. One game that was subject to their pleas for such was Atlas... Catherine Fullbody, which made two changes to the game's text according to early reports, including changing a character's name in the credits, as well as modifying a side conversation. However, these changes were not enough for the not-so-fine folks at Reset Era. There's a spoiler-heavy Medium post by Serene McNulty that covers the content that Reset Era felt was controversial in Catherine Fullbody, giving you the full gist of what's there, what's changed, and why. Now, this all started with a campaign from Reset Era earlier this year where they claimed that Catherine Fullbody was TC. And that led to one of the voice actresses responding by saying that the localizers would adjust the game to address the, quote, bigotry. For reference, the side dialogue change happens between Erica and Vincent, as noted in a tweet by JP on Cut. We're not going to play the clip. An update about a possible change of one side of dialogue in Catherine. After searching for sources, we decided to use our own footage and found the truth behind it. Atlas did indeed change the dialogue. For the sake of the comparison, here are the original answer from Vincent to her. FYI, every other dialogue is not changed. Neither the Erica can't be a female wrestler, nor how pronouns are changed in the context of the story. So, says, I'd be more convinced if a woman was telling me this. And, you know, people took umbrage with that because, well, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> According to Naughty Gaming, one of the scenes that people feared would be changed involved a certain character was not changed. You can see that the new ending from the Japanese version has stayed exactly the same in the English version of the game below. Obviously, there are some spoilers in the video below. Not playing it. Even still, Atlas kotowed to some of the complaints by modifying text in the credits and a side conversation, but still wasn't enough to sate the oscillating rage that echoed throughout the Reset Era threads, which became embedded into the fabric of the forum's soul like the mattered fur of a deceased rat in a washing machine. <laughs> All right, let's stop there for a moment. So, literally what everyone predicted, and we already talked about this a little bit, but it's unfortunate, man, because you do something, you do something to please these people, and instead of appreciating it, they're going to complain about something else. They're, they're just going to find something else to complain about. That's how it is. They never intended on buying the product to begin with, most likely. Never intended on supporting Atlas or Persona. They simply wanted something to complain about. So Atlas, you feeding into their demands isn't going to do anything except upset the people who actually would plan on supporting your product, purchasing your product. This is a bad look, and uh, hopefully they learn a lesson from this. Hopefully they do. And the really unfortunate thing is that it really came down to that localization uh, voice actress I don't know, man. They really shouldn't have put so much weight on whatever nonsense, in my opinion, nonsense, that she went and told them. It's just, uh, you know, I, I can understand people not being happy with some of the content in the game for whatever reason, if they took offense to it. But they need to accept that. They need to accept that some things are not always going to make them happy. 
It's the reality of the world, man. And you can't force people to change to fit your mold. If you want people to accept you for who you are, you should accept them for who they are too. Now, of course, there's a little caveat there. It's different if someone's going out and like doing very bad things, right? But that's not what's going on here. It's just a little video game, just a little bit of dialogue that upset some people. And instead of just being like, all right, I don't agree with the devs or whoever wrote that and their opinions on that topic, but I'll accept it. It's their game. It's their product. I'll still enjoy the game, even though I disagree with them. Respectfully disagree. And it is what it is. But, um, you know, that's not, that's not what these people do. They complain. They threaten to boycott, not buy the product, even though they likely never were to begin with. And unfortunately, Atlas listens. And again, a big part of that is because of that one voice actress going over and whatever she said, man, must have been something. So let's get back to the article here. User Lozong kicked off a Catherine full body thread with a Hail Mary of stuff, focusing on some laser guided guilt at Atlas, like Tom Brady cutting through the uh, Atlanta Falcons in the fourth quarter at Super Bowl LI riding. I don't even, what is that? What is LI? Oh my gosh. You guys are going to make fun of me for that one. Totally understandable. Uh, <laughs> I'm not good with that stuff. To add on a quick addendum, there's going to be someone reading this. Maybe they'll post, maybe they won't, but they'll be thinking, is this really TS? Are you sure they're not a cis or cross or it's a story related thingy that sidesteps the issue entirely? or some form of denial that seemingly renders the conversation moot. To that, I say this, even if you're right, which I don't think you are, there's too much TS imagery going on here with Atlas's history, with queer subject matter being historically terrible, Persona 3, beach scene, Persona 4 in general, Persona 5, beach scene. Like I said, they would complain about Persona. There you go. There you go. Literally what we just were talking about. To give Atlas the benefit of the doubt, even if they are trying to sidestep the issue, if they truly cared, this is not how they should have written the story. This isn't a one-off comedy scene that they didn't care about anymore. This is the focus of the new character's narrative. They knew what they were doing, and they did it badly. I won't be buying the game, doubt you ever wanted to, because I don't want to support this BS. Partially because I know this would actually ruin the game for me. I hope this thread is informative to those who need it. T.S. writes. There you go. Um, from there, the thread breaks down into typical complaints about the game not being woke enough, not being considerate enough, the staff not being sensitive enough, not being inclusive enough, not being diverse enough, and the whole gamut of typical word salad silliness that the forum is known for. We have some screenshots there. They're a little hard to see. Hopefully you guys can see them. I do have them pulled up on another screen. I'll read them from that screen. So one uh, poster says, you would think that Atlas USA would have a communication channel with the Japanese offices to tell them this stuff isn't okay. Oh my gosh. That is so intolerant. Literally, that, that, that sentence alone is making my point for me. The fact that you want some magical <laughs> some magical department to shake the finger at them and say, no, you can't do that. Dude, you know what? If you don't like what they do, just accept that you don't like it and either accept it and buy the product and still enjoy it or don't support it. But don't try to force them to change for you. Another user writes, it's such a mess. I didn't really expect the localization to fix anything other than what they stated they would fix. There was zero chance of Atlas being able to make the kind of changes necessary to even remotely fix this mess. So again, man, this all goes to what we were just talking about. It wasn't enough for them. You, you, you listen to the complaints, you make some changes, and guess what? They're more upset than before. Good job, Atlas. I wouldn't be surprised if Atlas USA has raised concerns about this or the content in Persona 5, for example. Doesn't mean the Japanese side has to listen. All those ignorant weebs failing to see how erogenous Japan's stance is on the issues here always make me laugh. Same goes for their respect towards women. It's the middle ages over there. As far as these topics go, don't expect much. The middle ages. That's a reach. Oh my gosh. The guy who directed this game, forgot his name, seriously needs sensitivity training. <laughs> or at least talk with some folks in the community. Ignorance in the age of the internet is, not, is no excuse. Okay, let me be the first one to say, a lot of people in that same community wouldn't even agree with you. I know plenty of people in that community that don't agree with those takes. Now, it's anecdotal. I'm saying who I know, but they're out there too. You can find, uh, yeah, not everyone in that community agrees with this stuff, man. They really don't. Another user writes, I genuinely think that Hashino is a great game director. Persona 3 through 5, Nocturne, DDS are all fantastic. And it's hard with Japanese game credits to determine who is responsible for specific aspects of a game sometimes. I can't say for certain if the problematic and outright bigoted aspects come from him sometimes or all the time. 
But there is a clear pattern with projects that he is the director of. And at this point, this stuff is indefensible. Like Persona 4 is one of my favorite games, and I love Kanji and Naoto as characters, while cringing in some aspects, but this is just garbage. I am beyond thrilled that the new creative leads will likely be handling Persona 6. Oh my gosh. Man, Risa there is a mess. What a joke. I don't think this particular point is fair criticism when spoilers. I can't even click that because it's, uh, it's a screenshot. It's all to do with how the narrative plays out. If this was 1990, there would be argument for maybe any representation is better than none. But in 2019, I can name multiple games that feature characters in major roles that at least have a very basic understanding of TS women are women and TS men are men. There you go. There you go. Some opinions there from Reset Era. And the article continues to write, The hilarity of all this is that Reset Era had tried to get a campaign going to shame Atlas director Katsura Hashino into censoring his content. It's safe to say that their attempt to get Hashino to kneel to their demands did not go over well, and it was one of the few times their cancel culture antics went nowhere. However, the forum is still seething with rage that what changes Atlas did make to Catherine did not align with what they wanted. Oh, we actually have a few more screenshots there. I didn't. I read those already, though. It's a little, a little ahead of schedule. Basically, the moral of the story is that bending the knee to outrage won't win you any points with the people outraged. Literally, we see that playing out historically. Atlas never should have made any changes to the game whatsoever, especially not at the behest of self-loathing people emanating their rage from places like Reset Era. Much like the Ion Fury debacle, the only thing that happens is that people who would have bought your game get upset, pass it up because they find out it's censored, and the people who ask for the censorship don't buy the game because they never had any intention to buy it from the start. Yep. Yep. They never had the intention from the start, and I'll even add that maybe if there was a minuscule percentage that actually was going to buy it, they won't now because, well, they're not satisfied. So it's... it's a lose-lose for sure anyways catherine full body is currently available right now for ps4 in north america europe and japan and that's that this might be the last video i do on catherine um seems like the story is pretty clear cut now we'll see how it develops if there are developments i will update you like i said man i've been covering this specific story since january 2019 and it's interesting watching it play out over the months it's not like a rapidly developing story but it's like we get an update every few months on this now the game's out um, so I don't know if there'll be any other further updates, but no surprise, guys. TLDR, we covered this back in January. We predicted that uh, if they ended up making changes, because back then they hadn't yet, it was saying that maybe they were, you know, the criticism was there. We said back then if they ended up making changes, probably wouldn't go so well for them. Then the update was that apparently they were making the changes allegedly because we had that one voice actor come out with her statement. So we didn't know for sure if they would or not until we saw the release. But given what the voice actress said... We were wondering if they would. Turns out they did do some. And indeed, just like we all thought, they're not happy. It always goes down that same way, it seems. Hopefully, these companies start waking up and listening. Because if they keep going down this road, it's just going to be bad for them. And bad for the consumers. We're not getting the product that we wanted either. So, it is what it is, you know. It is what it is. Uh, to be fair, I did say that people should still buy it and try to appreciate it if they're unhappy with it. And I guess that argument goes for both sides. If you're unhappy with the changes... But you really like Atlas, you really like Catherine, you want to support them still, I would say, you know, in that case, maybe consider still still buying it, still showing support. But uh, it's a little bit different because we're not the ones demanding change, and they are. So while I'm saying it works both ways, of course, it's not exactly the same. One side is threatening all kinds of, uh, you know, terrible things to try to get their way. The other side isn't. It's pretty clear cut. In closing, that's pretty much it for this video. But if you enjoyed... Please subscribe and turn the notification bell on. And if you are subscribed, double check that you are. YouTube, I've been getting a lot of comments recently that, um, that they've been unsubbing people. That seems to go in spurts. Every now and then, I'll get comments that people have been unsubbed from my channel and other people that I know as well. It happens. So do check. Do check. Maybe also check the other creators that you like a lot if you're still subbed to them as well. And of course, join the Discord server if you're not in there yet. Link in the description. And if you'd like to do a bit extra to support this channel, consider becoming a sponsor on Patreon or getting some merch. Teespring link in the description. And of course, some shout outs for the kind people who helped promote my last video on Twitter. That one being the, uh, <laughs> the Funimation leaks and the new excuse. Oh my gosh, that was funny. Shouts out to On the Brain, Random Fandom. Dusk Wolf, The Lancaster Kid, Samantha Miyu, Mr. Anime 343, That One Slimy Gintama Fanboy, Cameron H, 
I don't like T H O T S, Plague P, Geeky Kitty, and Ranstein. And sorry, I had to be careful with some of those. This video already, I'm worried about it uh, being green or not. We'll see. Hopefully, it'll be okay. But that's it for this one. Do hope you enjoyed, though, and I'll catch you next time.